Welcome back everyone to Scavenging in Area Door where we are back here with Odelia at the party tree and it's time to start year eight. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Alright, well, let's do the next one and for the next one uh, we need to Tales of Gimli. Oh, and we also get to travel to some tombs and haunts. For Gimli... Oh, Remembrances Around Rivendell. That's not too many. And what about for here? Tombs and Haunts. Explores Haltham, Barrow of Ringdor, Barrow of Taradun, Explore Gwantham, and Explore Halth Irchith. Wow, that's a mouthful. Lots of dead places. How if we start at a happy place like Rivendell? Here we are in Rivendell. Now we have to find some of these remembrances. And I suppose places where Gimli has been would be a good place. So one of them would be the guest house. Wondering if the Spire of Meeting would be a good place to find one. Well, I have a rem memory of her as she would for not recognize. Not bother studying fragments that I found because she was more interested in how they're lost and caught than in actually studying the relic itself. Alright, that is a bridge. I suppose a few people might have gone astray crossing that bridge because when people say you go astray on a bridge, they call it Rivendelling the bridge, so there must be plenty of places in here where you could fly off a bridge if you're not careful, if you're running too fast on a mount. Of course, here's the Spire of Meeting where the Council of Elrond was held, so we can't forget about that where Glowing was there and I presume Gimli was also at the council. Can't remember because I definitely Glowing was. And I don't know who I can't remember who else was there. Obviously Boromir and Aragorn and Gandalf and Elrond and Glorfindel Frodo well, Sam was unauthorized, but he was there. Let's see, Legolas was very definitely there. Gloin was very definitely there. I suppose it's possible, likely, that Gimli was there, but we shall have to see. Oh, there's a remembrance somewhere in here. Somewhere near the last homely house. Wait, oh, I passed it. <laughs> Way down here. There you go. Probably one of the areas that I often forget, strangely enough. So maybe that remembrance was remind me. Yes, there you have that section. Oh, speaking of Glorfindel, he might have a remembrance near him. Well, maybe not, since this is all about Gimli, and so therefore. Not too sure Gimli will have too many remembrances of visiting Glorfindel, even though I have one or two of them. Yep, yeah, alright. Just checking, just in case. Now, what about inside the house? And of course, if after checking inside the house, I need more to find, then I'll head over to the guest house where Gimli is staying, since I'm sure he'd have a memory or two at that place. Here we are. Last Lonely House. There were none in the last lonely, homely house, but there is one right here, right next to Gimli, of course. Appropriately enough. Unfortunately, there has to be one more. Where would that be? Hmm. Ah, here's one. Right in the market. What we remember in the market? I have no idea. 
Well, there was that quest in getting a perfect pelt, I suppose. With that done now, it is time to head out and look into some tombs. And I presume that means heading to the Barrel Downs. Oh, whoopee. Ah, oh, the Barrel Downs. A nice, green, lovely place where we recently had a picnic lunch. Let's go inside one of these barrels. Certainly, nothing could be terrible within there, right? Well, it doesn't exactly look beautiful. I wouldn't call this a hobbit hole. Certainly doesn't mean comfort or anything like that. It has a share of spiders, actually. I'm a little short on my spider deed. <laughs> so if I run into one or two of them along the way, probably I should take care of them. And when I say I'm one or two spiders short on my spider deed, I mean that I've yet to complete enmity of the spiders one. And during this particular series, having a port to the Shire would have been really useful, which you don't get till you finish Empty of the Spiders 2! <laughs> well, I'm not placing any bets on that being finished before the series is over. But now, let's see. Is there oh, yeah, that's right. We're not looking for remembrances here. We are just trying to find the... Probably the end point of this place to have either explored all the sites or explored the most important place in it or something like that. Or actually, I've already gotten credit for it. Huh. Well then, I don't need to go any further then. Let's get out of this webby place and head on to the next barrow. The barrow of Ringdor is a little wetter. Uh, that was far enough to get credit for it. And I don't see any spiders here. And I don't like these nasty dead things that are all over the spot. And so, I think I'll get out of here. And here's our third tomb we have to visit. Walton, or something like that. Yeah. Haltham. It's... It has stairs. Well, we all know how much hobbits like stairs, or dislike them more appropriately. So this is obviously a place not very hobbit friendly. Let us get out of here. And this is Hoth E.R. Keith. Which seems to be full of big dogs, nasty dead things, nasty spirits, evil auras, dusty floors, very n not being hobbit friendly at all. They just don't like guests, at least not hobbit friendly guests. And finally, Quantum. Which is the last of the tombs we need. And once again, we have dead here, which gives you a dreadful feeling. A, a bat or two. Some old pottery. And nasty feelings all over the place. Well, I don't like this place either. I think it's time to get to the back to the party tree. That one sent me into those spaces that had a lot of spooks and dust in it. A lovely day, isn't it? Well, it's lovely here, but it wasn't lovely where I've been. What we got here? A pig. You gave me a pig. <laughs> so, there's another round. Could I take a moment of your time? T 
to the old wizard, huh? Alright, let's see what we've got here. We've got Tales of Gandalf. Set all fireworks at the party tree. Well, this place, it's hard not to set all fireworks near the party tree. Alright, there we go. And to find some rather weird things all over the place. Well, let us head out and find these things. Let's begin with setting off some fireworks. And here are some fireworks right here. Wow! Who left these out here? For any old hobbit to come in. The great bundle of fireworks of all sorts and shapes, each labeled with a large red G. Hmm. For grand, the hobbit's children believe. Of course, it meant for Gandalf. Oh, let's go and have a word with... Ooh. Let's go to Buckland. Apparently, we need to find a tall cow. I suppose if we add the height of the house on top of that of the cow, we could call her the tallest cow in the area. Those hobbits are not going to talk that cow down anytime soon. Well, hello, Mrs. Cow. This is Miss Piggy. Not interested? Oh, well. We were asked to visit a house with several cats, and I think this house qualifies. Where do they get so many cats? I don't know. Now, I have no real reason to scold the innkeeper. Apparently, Gandalf did. If Butterbur forgets to send this letter promptly, I shall roast him. Well, fortunately, he wasn't roasted. And Frodo eventually got the letter, right? Hmm. Oh, by the way, I was wondering if you know how to get into the house at this address. Yeah, I, I have to help some man with turtle soup. Okay. Right, I think I found the right address now because there are just so many turtles here. Now, to unlock this house, you have to do the instance in year two called Infestrator Surprise. And I didn't do all the instances in that one because that's the one that has you go through and having to do the Tomb of Elindel is one of the items in there. So, therefore... I didn't do all that stuff, but that unlocks this place. And actually, I, I just ran Hello it because there. I didn't do it before. But I didn't want to show it to you as, it's, as that instance is not part of Year 9. It's just something that you have to do as a prerequisite in order to do it. But if you've done all of the Year 2 instances, then you should be fine. Experience? Yeah, I'll take the experience. Very well, uh, let's head out. And now we need talk to Radagast the Brown. Fortunately, I did enough of book two for Radagast to be here so I can speak with him. You have returned, I see. Gandalf, I have been seeking you. Ah, I have an urgent errand, and my news is evil. That's cool. Well, obviously, in this case, it's something that he spoke to Gandalf about. I'm sure he didn't mistake me for Gandalf. There's a slight height difference there. And that's the Gandalf side for that. But I do have a couple more things to find before I'm done. There should be a sandcastle somewhere here on this island in the middle of the lake but I also noticed this horse here which I first discovered when I was doing the full anniversary event that Floyd and DeWitt were sitting on this island but the sandcast ah here's the sandcastle I said su you suppose there's not much else to do on this island yeah must have been built by Floyd and DeWitt well then that just leaves a snowman in Eridluene 
I think I need to invest in some winter boots. It's cold up here. And who came all the way here to build this thing? I don't know. But there we are, one snowman. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get to a more clement location, such as the party tree. Alright, I found some cats, some turtles, and a snowman. How's that? Good day. I'm glad you're back, and for that I'll give you a sand castle. And a hooded cloak from Radagast. Okay. Very well. And that concludes a year nine of the scavenger hunt. So that was another double header. And I'll see you next time for the next episode of Scavenging in Eridluene. In Eriador.